This episode's journey takes us almost the full length of the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union Canal, from Middlewich all the way through to Barbridge Junction. So the start of our day, this is the um, end of the Middlewich branch and we're, we've just come from Middlewich, just through the lock and we're just manoeuvring to get to the water point to fill up with water. Empty the toilet at the wharf just along there. We've got to pay to empty our toilet, but it was three pounds, it's worth it. And then we are heading back towards Church Minchel um, for the weekend. While Pete was filling up with water, I took a short walk to top up with groceries. I saw this sign as I left the canal and of course had to go and investigate. They do the most amazing cakes. A different selection every day and once they're gone, they're gone. So make sure you check them out whenever you're filling up with water in Middlewich. So while Pete just finished off at the water point, I came round the corner to open the gates. Just check there's no other boats waiting to come down and he's manoeuvring around the very sharp corner onto this Wardle Canal, which is the shortest section of canal in the, in the UK. It's a 90 degree turn from the water point to turn left onto this very short section of canal that joins the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union with the Trent and Mersey Canal. The Wardle Canal terminates with a single lock known as Wardle Lock. It was built in 1829 so that the navigation authority of the Trent and Mersey Canal could maintain control over the junction and charge a hefty toll for its use. Maureen Shaw lived in Wardle Lock Cottage for many years. She was an ex-working boatwoman and delighted in looking after Wardle Lock. In fact many regular boaters called it Maureen's Lock as she didn't suffer falls gladly. Sadly, Maureen died in 2012 and her funeral was attended by lots of boaters. Her coffin was taken by boat from outside her house to Middlewich Town Wharf, just across the road from the church. Job. That was a tight turn.
still signs of the major breach that happened in March 2018. A short section of the canal collapsed overnight, causing the water to drain from the canal into the river below. And those cows were right laying down because it's just started raining so we're just pulling in we don't need to get to church minshaw today so we're just gonna pull in put the fire on have a cup of tea want to get off everybody want to get off We were right to pull in when we did because this was how the rest of the evening looked. When we're getting ready to cruise, we switch out the tall chimney for a shorter one to make sure we can get under bridges okay. What's wrong with it? It's the inner tube is moving inside the, see so it's lined. Is it not meant to do that then? Well I don't know but it seems to be moving more lately than, I think it's supposed to move up and down a bit so, so when you latch it in but <laughs> it's moving a lot. It's a beautiful day, isn't it?
This bridge number prompted the discussion about who had written the song 19 in the 1980s. Are you Googling it? No, 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 19. Oh, it's cheating. You can't cheat. I'm not cheating. I can remember it. That's not cheating, is it? I wanted to know. That's what Google's for. up with Paul and Anthony on Morningstar from YouTube channel Narrowboat Life Unlocked. I've got ice cream. We'd noticed a sign for a little gift shop that was just a short walk from the canal. There's a gate over there. And as we were approaching Morningstar, we saw another familiar boat, Chuggabug, from YouTube channel Gary Captain Phillips.
Oh, it's starting to rain. Yeah, here it comes. So after the disappointment of the gift shop being closed, we went back to the boat and enjoyed one of Anthony's scones with a cup of tea. And Pete made the brave decision to finally put the drone in the air. Our joint birthday present to ourselves. It scared the life out of me. You can see and hear how much the wind had picked up and it caused quite a few problems as we were trying to leave. Are you looking for Dexter, Poppy? Are you looking for Dexter? I don't know where he is. The wind kept blowing us back into the bank, so Paul and Anthony came out to try and give the boat a bit of a shove. Swan was happy to see the back of us.
stop to fill up at Renisha Marina with a fuel and we've got a new gas bottle as well. After so many people recommended Dee's Tea Room at Venetian Marina to us, we were sad to see that it was closed. And then uh, we're going to get through here to the junction at Bar Bridge and then take a left towards Langdothlan and then we'll moor up somewhere from Langdothlan. this nice armco and it's got mooring rings as well so we decided to uh, stop here for the night instead of going on to Barbridge so we said we do this all the time we say we're going to go a bit further and then we've passed by the really good mooring spots Thanks for watching and join us next time as we head on to the Langothlan Canal to start our winter aboard. And the truth